Hey there, welcome to another video. I'm going to show you the different filtering variations that you can have for your boards. Um, the one I've shown you in the past is basically it's just the standard click and uh, select and deselect kind of option. So I'm going to show you a few of the other ones you can use. So let's just say I'm going to have sales, I'm going to have category, subcategory, and I got the split like that, right? And I'm going to rotate this. Okay, so we got our results there. And I want to create a, a filter for category. Okay, and a filter for subcategory. Okay, right, and I'm going to add some, add these as filters. So we'll go show filter. Now we're going to go show filter. And let me just reorganize this. I like to have category on the top. Okay, now what you'll notice that these ones, as soon as you click them, they'll start reacting. And the problem I have with this is, let's say you have a lot to choose from in terms of your subcategory, and I wanted to deselect let's say all these ones each time i do it the menu is going to update where you have only you know maybe a few thousand results you're not going to have you know much of an issue but what if i've loaded up 500,000 records then doing this individually is going to use up a lot of you know a lot of ram a lot of memory in your computer and it's going to take a little while to run so there are different things you can do so if i right click just here on the white space You'll notice that all these are different filtering types. So let me show you the first one. Single value list, actually I'll do that one for here, is really good if you only want the user to be able to select one thing at a time. So if I go here, you can see they're now like radio bars. I can't select multiple ones at the same time, okay? That's one option. I can go back here. I can go single value drop down, which is the same thing except it puts it in a drop down. And this is really useful for once you get to making dashboards and you have maybe 10 different filters, you can't really represent them all. Uh, let's go back one. Oh, hang on. Let me change this back. You can't really represent them like this if you have a lot, right? <laughs> Your dashboard is going to be half filters. So what you can do is just compress it to a drop down, okay? And it takes up a lot less room. Okay. So now let's right, oh, let's click on this triangle again. The next one is a slider. So it can actually go from one item to the next. This is probably a little bit better for like measured values where you're setting, you know, ranges of values. I don't really use that one. Let's go multiple values, which is, you know, the original one. If you do want to have it like this, one alternative you can do is if you right click and you go customize, you can go show apply button. Now what that means is, it's actually, it's probably better on this other one, right? I'll show it here, customize, show apply. Okay, and what that means is they can make their selection. Let's say I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. I don't. And it's not gonna render, right, or update until you press apply. So it's a really good, you know, memory saving uh, technique that you can do. And once you apply, then it'll activate, okay? There's that one. You can have the exact same thing, but in a drop down. My only problem with this one is that let's say I do need to print the dashboard out on the piece of paper. You won't actually see what values have been selected. So that's my only problem with this particular drop down. So if you have dashboards that aren't going to be printed, they're just purely interactive, then you're okay. You know, because someone can always click on this and open, right? So there's that one. You can also go uh, multiple values custom list. So you can, I believe you can search, right? So you can do that. Let's go for something with the same letter. So go A, right? So you can search up anything with an A. So it's kind of like a search engine, if you will. Okay, you got that one. And the last one is wildcard match, which is basically pure search. It doesn't actually show you what's underneath. So let's say I go the letter A, right? It will just show me anything that's A. This is really good for like, if you have, let's say a long list of people and you want to be able to search for someone's name, you can just put it in there. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.